Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Raj from Radical Dagger, your process automation strategies. Today, we are diving into a critical component used in almost every processes and that is pressure switches. We will explore what they are, their types and give you a step-by-step -step selection guide to help you to pick the right one for your application. First, let's start with what is pressure switch. A pressure switch is the device that senses fluid pressure and triggers an electrical contact on or off once a set pressure is reached. It's used for safety, automation or process control in pumps, compressors, boilers and hydraulic system. Now let's cover types of pressure switches. First one is mechanical pressure switch. It uses a spring and diagram piston. Second, no power supply is required. And third is widely used for simple on-off control. Second is electronic pressure switch. It has a pressure sensor plus digital circuit. It offers precise set points, delay timers, and digital display. It is widely used in modern smart automation systems. Third type is differential pressure switches. It monitors the pressure difference between two points. It is widely used for filter monitoring, flow control, and clean room HVAC system. Now let's cover how to choose the right pressure switch for your application. Before selecting the pressure switch, this below step that you need to consider. The first one is identify the application. What are you switching on or off? First one is pump, compressor or alarm. Second step that you need to consider is know your pressure range. Define minimum and maximum operating pressure. Choose a switch with the range above your maximum pressure but not too far to lose accuracy. Step 3 that you need to consider is choose contact type and rating, SPDT, DPDT or simple NONC. Second is match the electrical load like voltage or current that you are switching. Example, AC 230 watt or DC 24 watt loads. Step 4 that you need to consider is decide between mechanical or electronic pressure switch. For mechanical pressure switch, no power supply is needed while in electronic needs 24 volt supply. For mechanical, it is basic and robust while for electronic it has a smart feature. Mechanical is less expensive and programmable while electronic is more accurate. Step 5 is media type compatibility like air, water, oil, gas or steam. Choose a compatible diagram or sensor material like SS316 or PTFE or HEST Ally. Step 6 that you need to consider is process connection type. What type of fitting do you need like 1x4 inch BSP or NPT, flange type or flush diagram. Step 7 is set point adjustability. If you need fixed set point or field adjustable, some have dials or digital keypads to change the set points. Step 8 is certification and protection. If you need ATEX approved or flame proof or you need to go for IP65, IP67 or IP68 for dust or waterproof protection. Step 9 is ambient condition. You need to check can it withstand with high or low ambient temperatures? Consider if it's installed outdoors, near heat or in corrosive areas. Step 10 is mounting and access. Will it be installed on panel, pipe or machine? Check their orientation, visibility and ease of wiring. Now let's cover some real world examples. In boiler system, research switch turn off the burner at high pressure. In compressor, starts or stop the motor based on the side pressure. For filter clogging, differential pressure switch triggers cleaning or alarm. Hydraulic press limits maximum pressure for safety. So, always choose a pressure switch that balances performance, reliability and cost for your exit use case and remember the wrong switch can lead to shutdown or safety hazards. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in my next video.